Dr. William Kalima was born in 1952 to Mr. Nathan William Kalima, RIP, and Mrs. Rodan Sivira Kalima, who are teachers at Bodo Hill Center, Uganda. Being born and raised in an academic environment at the tail end of colonial rule of British Uganda, he was privileged to study at one of Uganda's and indeed East Africa's leading schools, King's College, Bodo. His career has seen him work with, among others, American multinational chemical company, DuPont, after which, upon his return to his home country, Uganda, in 1992, he has worked as a consultant to business, government, and developmental agencies since 1992. Playing an active role in the development of the private sector in Uganda, over time, he has served as the non-executive director, NED, mostly as the board chairman in several leading entities. In addition, he has supported the growth of a series of investment funds targeting agricultural enterprises in East Africa, African Agriculture Capital Fund, African Seed Investment Fund as the director, and the Africa Enterprise Challenge Fund, managed by Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa. Dr. William Kalima's pride and lasting legacy has been upon to take upon the leadership of relatively young companies and hold them to grow into established brands. I can take you back to kind of my, the 90s, when I, soon after I came back to Uganda, because I was active in the Man, Uganda Manufacturers Association. Through that activity, I was appointed to the non-executive directorship of a group, an organization called Uganda Gatsby Trust. Uganda Gatsby Trust had a program with Makere University where they helped to bring Makere University Department of Technology into contact with people in the private sector. And I was chairman of UGT. And through UGT, I became active in the Kirimo Trust, which looked at agriculture. Through Kirimo Trust, I moved on to African Agricultural Capital, which raised, raised capital and did sponsored people, organizations, and, and individuals who were in, in small agricultural companies. In many cases, I have been lucky enough to start small companies and watch them grow into something bigger. Um, and it takes time, of course. You don't become a bigger company overnight, but sometimes it takes five years, sometimes 10 years, sometimes even 20 years. And also, there's some, some rules of the game which after a while become um, natural to you. For instance, always be prepared for many meetings. So, however busy you may be, you have to create time. Uh, and sometimes, actually, some directors turn down invitations to join their board because they don't have the, they don't think they will have the time. It's very important to have enough time and to learn to become very familiar with the details of the company. And if you do that, if you, if you really understand the, the nature of the business, your results will be satisfactory because you have to, in a way, the more you love or care about the company, then the more, the more good work you do for the company. Learning as much as possible about the nature of the business, that's important. You need to understand the customers. If, if you're chairman of the bank, you should understand what, just beyond what the board papers say, you need to, to understand what your customers are thinking, um, what is, why, why they, work, they work with you, and, and so on. So communication is very important with all kinds of stakeholders, including also um, 
your fellow board members because very often you you learn just as much from other board members as you learn from management so i would say it is care and attention to detail preparation those things are important